We will explain the basic operation of EDX 200 a and DCS 100 a when a string gauge type transducer is connected. Click on the connect icon. If connection with EDX 200 a is successful, there is a pop-up message to tell you connection is successful. Click on environment icon. We select the data file to save. Here we select data file folder of PC. Click here when you require an automatic CSV conversion. Click OK to close the environment. Do not click tick on the right upper, otherwise you will lose what you have set. Open the set channel condition. Here we explain the operation when CVM41A is used. Check the channel you use and remove the check from the channel you don't use on measurement on or off. Use copy and paste function to copy the same contents. Other sections can be copied in the same way. On mode section, choose strain when you use strain gauges in string gauge type transducers. On range section, choose appropriate range according to the rated output of transducers. On high pass section, set the high pass filter if necessary. On low pass filter section, set the low pass filter if necessary. Here we select 100 Hz. Balance section means the zero adjustment. If you take zero before measurement, check the box. On calibration constant section, input the calibration coefficient described on the calibration sheet of transducer. On unit section, select the unit of physical quantities. Here we choose meter per second squared. On decimal digit section, we set the number of digits after the decimal point. Here we choose automatic. On channel name section, we can enter the name or memo if necessary. Here we enter accelerometer. Click OK to close the set channel condition. Do not tick the box or you will lose what you have set. Open the measurement condition. Select measure mode. Here we choose manual. Select sampling frequency. Here we choose 1 to 5 and 1 kHz. Select date file. Click browse of set save folder to find the location of folder. Set the file name, file title, and the file number and click OK at the end. Next, we will show you how to display graph. Different types of graph can be selected up to user's needs. Select any sample of the window layout on the left to change it easily. Click monitor on the measure operation panel to start the monitor measurement. Possible to change scale by double clicking the value on lower and upper of the Y axis. It is also possible to set an arbitrary time. Scale for X axis can be arranged in the same way. Stabilize the transducer in the initial state. Then click the balance of the measurement operation panel to perform an initial balance. If the result shows NG, check transducer or wiring. When it shows OK, measured value becomes almost zero. Click recording and pause on the measurement operation panel to start the measurement. The display will change to recording and the elapsed time shows below. The remaining measurement time shows above. Click Stop to suspend the measurement. Then, monitoring will appear on the measurement operation panel. Click Stop again to terminate the monitoring.